Hi, my name is Nick, and this tooltip is on managing your file sizes. Larger files in Envisioneer will increase the load time when you are trying to open them. You can manage your file sizes in Envisioneer a couple of ways. First is the amount of custom blocks you have imported using the Import Object Wizard. While this is a great tool for importing blocks to add to your design, you should take notice of the size of the file you are importing or creating. The more surfaces a block has, the larger it will be. As an example, some refrigerators will have all of the interior and components included in the block. While this is a great amount of detail to show, it is detail that will never be seen in Envisioneer because you cannot open a refrigerator door. You can either edit the block and remove the interior components, or you can simply try and find a smaller block. In our catalog, we have a counter depth fridge. So if I open up the properties of that fridge, we can see that this is actually an imported block. And under the imported elements section, we can see that there is a simplify button. This will show you the amount of vertices or surfaces that are a part of that particular object. And here we can see that we are at about 4,000 vertices. This is a reasonable number. You will find that some of these numbers will be very large. But when I look at this block, and I say render outline and I rotate this block around we can see that inside this block we have absolutely nothing inside of it again because we are not going to be able to open up a refrigerator door you don't need to see all of the uh, shelves inside of it and the drawers that is just information that is not going to be needed the second is the amount of blocks and smart views you have inserted into your worksheets every time you insert a block or a smart view, it is stored in the file for future use, even if you delete it out. This is done by design, so that in case you decide later on that you do need that block or smart view, you can just insert it again without having to recreate it. I always recommend using the delete unreferenced smart views and delete unreferenced blocks options often. This will remove the deleted blocks and smart views from your file and reduce the file size. So in this particular working drawing sheet I have absolutely nothing added in. But at one point I had dropped in a couple of smart views. So if I go up and I select the delete unreferenced smart views option, I can see that there are five different uh, smart views that were added in. They are no longer a part of the drawing file, so I don't need them anymore. So I can take this file and I can simply click on the smart view name and put a check mark in there and that will select all the smart views and I can click delete. This will remove all of those smart views. So when I go back in and I say delete unreferenced smart views, we can see that there are no other smart views uh, in this list. I'm going to click cancel. The same is going to be true for blocks. So if I select delete unreferenced blocks, this will bring up all of the blocks that are a part of that file. Now there are blocks in here that you will want to keep just in case you need them for future use in that drawing. So as an example, I would not remove the datum or any of the title blocks. But these two blocks down here that I've added in at one point and removed are now visible and I can select them and delete them out. By simply selecting and removing those blocks, I have reduced the file size for my particular file. We hope this tooltip helps you moving forward. If you like what we are creating, be sure to subscribe for future videos. If you have comments, please let us know below. Thank you.